hello guys welcome back to my channel if you are here for the first time my name is Bridget Jamila and i welcome you to my channel and if you guys are already subscriber guys welcome back to yet another video thank you so much for everyone for tuning in um as you can see i decided to change my backdrop again as you guys know i changed my backdrop so many different times on this damn channel but <laughs> i think i'm comfortable with this space it's clean it's airy and it's just it's it's given to the girls but Anyway, that's not the point. The point is, today, as you can see, I look much more presentable. I don't know what was going on in last week's video. I was looking a mess. I was looking a hot mess. I don't know what was going on, but your girl is back. The lace is together, the makeup is together, and we are here today. Yeah, that's cute. That's the one. But I know that's not why you guys are here. You guys are here to check out this luxury haul from Voyette. Now, keep in mind, these shoes have been accumulating since last year till now. Um, the four pair of shoes that I'm about to show you, I have worn only one of them and I wore it for like, I think two hours. <laughs> that was it. The rest of them, I have not worn yet, um, which really, really sucks, but that's teacher's own. There's a disclaimer in this video, guys. I will not be trying on any of the shoes. My toes are not done, okay? Now like, y'all know that now. My toes are not done. But I will drop the link to their Instagram and their website in the bio so you can see what it looks like on someone's foot because the owner definitely has a lot of those videos up. So, to get right into the video, let's just, let's just go. Let's just go. Let's just go. Wind it up on night Baby, take your time Let me know I go on Wagwan Okay guys, so a little backstory on Voyette. It's a luxury brand for designer shoes, but it's a black owned business. So I came across this brand around 2020 and the first shoe that i saw from them was called the slay shoe gonna insert a picture of that here um and i was in love with this shoe personally i'm the type of person i don't get shoes with words on it it's just not my thing but i just thought that was so cute like slay you know and y'all know i'll be i'll be giving it to the girls when i get dressed so i decided i was like yeah let me cop these it was sold out in the blue the red and the black went went so I end up just waiting until to see what else they drop or if they would to they were going to redrop that shoe. Well, come to find out, <clears throat> they end up not dropping that shoe again, which I was sad about. But they decided to come up with more drops, and from the first shoe that I bought till now, I'm obsessed. Like, no, I don't think you understand. I'm obsessed. Like, I'm actually obsessed with a brand that is not like huge. You know what I mean? So I'm super, super, super excited about this. And I'm ready to show you shoes, guys. So let's get it. Okay, guys. So the first shoe up on the list are called the O Helen. Oh, I'm in love with these shoes. These are the O Helen. Look at that. Do you do you guys see? Look at this. Okay, so First thing is first, I threw away the box, so I can't even show you what the box came in, but it came like a black box with like gold lettering. I'm so mad I threw away the box, but I threw it away when I was moving, so whatever. That's the other point. Okay, so the shoe is mesh. The shoe is a mesh material, like a lace mesh, right? The leather, it's cow leather. The insole is a leather insole as well. The heel height is 120 mm. The feathers are ostrich feathers. Love that um and it has a tie-up moment here like it had a tie-up moment here which you can tie it up around your leg i will insert a picture of me actually wearing these shoes because i did wear them um on a scale of one to ten comfortability it was like about a five out of one to ten it was like a five like I think my feet were swollen when I wore them. I don't know, like moving to Georgia, my feet swell all the time. I don't know why. I, I don't know, it job could be the heat thing, but my feet were definitely swollen when I wore these and they were just a bit uncomfortable, but not so much. But it the, the heel height, comfortable. Like the he, height of the heel was wonderful. I have no complaints about that, but you guys already know I love high heel shoes, so yeah. But the front of the shoe, everything is mesh. It's a mesh material. 
leather insole kind of a slippery sole if that makes sense you could put like grips on it if you want to be a little bit more sturdy um these i got in a 42 only because i didn't know what size i would wear in her shoe um so i got a 42 just to be safe um because i wasn't sure if it was like italian made like i didn't know what the shoe was made out of it and this was my first purchase ever from the brand so I got a 42 and the 42, it fit perfectly fine. Um, when I first bought it, I didn't have any issues. My feet wasn't swollen, so it fit perfectly fine. No complaints, but this is the first shoe on the list. These are the O Helens. I'm obsessed, completely obsessed. Okay guys, so the next shoe up on the list is called Ladylike. So for the next couple pair of shoes, I have the boxes. So this was one of the first boxes that came with the shoes um as you can see the lettering is a bit smaller on this i'm going to show you the new boxes and the bigger lettering on the boxes um so this one we can unbox together it comes with an extra heel on the interior and then you have the dust bag now the dust bag is a cloth dust bag um you only receive one with this shoe um and you see it has a nice gold lettering on the front but um the dust bag does change which i did like um so this is the original dust bag if you're like a, i'll call myself a first time client <laughs> all right so shoes wrapped like this nothing special and these are the ladylike here you go oh clearly i have a thing with feathers you're going to see that in this haul um i'm obsessed i'm obsessed I love shoes. Ah, make me so happy. Real life Carrie Bradshaw. But anyway, I'm obsessed. These are so beautiful. So these are made of satin, satin, leather insole, crystal embellishments. Of course, you know nothing but ostrich feathers for your girl bomb line cut and dry. The heel is 100 mm. I actually have a picture of me with me having these on. I think I did a get ready with me. I'm going to insert the picture here, but I didn't get ready with me and I actually have the shoe on. You can't really see them that much, but I did style that. Um, but I have not wore these yet. Oh, I can't wait to pop out with these. These, I believe, cost. I can't tell you the cost, guys, because the shoe is sold out online and I don't even have the receipt on or anything in the box. So I can't even tell you the price. Um, I think if I'm correct, they were like two something. I'm gonna say like 215. Don't quote me though. Um, but these were definitely one of my favorites. Uh, I love the blush pink. It's just giving. Um, I married a millionaire and he just passed away and I'm about to spend all his money. <laughs> um, it, it's definitely giving that kind of vibe. I'm obsessed with these shoes so much. I'm totally obsessed. Um, the let the heel comfortable 100 mm so comfortable um the toe of it perfection absolute perfection i'm obsessed with these shoes i just love it oh my god these are so beautiful guys so beautiful and guys all of their shoes are handmade so these are not no flimsy cheesy type of shoes these are good quality made shoes obsessed um but yeah, I definitely can't um, insert the link for these because they're sold out, which really, really sucks. Um, but yeah, she probably will come up with something that looks just like this. So yeah. Okay, guys. So I just want to show you how the box has changed from the first box that I showed you. The original box was a little bit like this. And then you can see what it looks like now. Um, big difference, clearly. Um, I love the new boxes. It gives more of a luxury feel, a luxury look. The words are bigger. It's, it's given to the girls. It's, it's doing what they thought it was doing. Um, when I open this, right, of course, you get like a little res uh, return slip um, if you need to return the shoe. Me, you know, I don't return stuff. Um, you get like a little card thingy now with the with your purchase just telling you thank you for shopping blase blase um and then they change the dust bags 
They're silk dust bags now. And now you get two. Booyah. Booyah. You know I love that. You know. You know I complained about in my last in my last shoe haul. All luxury shoes should have two dust bags. Period. I don't care if it's a mule or not. Anyway. So these are a mule as well, like the last shoe. I don't know if I told you guys that, but the last shoe was a mule as well. And these are called the Sylvie. These are still up there. In case you love the ladylike, um, I would recommend the Sylvie because I feel like it's around the same ballpark. Oh, let me take these out. So these are the Sylvie guys. As you can see, I'm obsessed with feathers. I don't know. Like, I just love a feather shoe. <laughs> it's just everything. I know I look crazy because all the shoes I have from her have feathers on it. She has shoes that don't have feathers. I just happen to like all of the ones with feathers. I have a problem. I know. Clearly. Okay, so again, this is a satin shoe. Um, it has zirconia crystals. Okay, ostrich feathers, of course, because that's what your girl does. Leather insole, of course, of course. Um, all of her shoes, I'm between a 42 and a 41, which is really, really good. This one, I ended up getting a 42, which was really bad because it's actually a little bit too big in the front for me. So I should have got a 41. I didn't return it because, child, if my feet swell, I'll be fine. So I just kept it. But these are, oh, child. I'm literally obsessed with shoes. They should admit me somewhere. This is a no-go. <laughs> But I'm obsessed with these. I love these so much. And I know they resemble the ladylike, but they're different. <laughs> they're the same, but they're different. That's what I tell myself when I make these purchases. <laughs> um, but again, if you like the ladylike, I think the Sylvie is definitely given to the girls. The Sylvie is a bit more expensive. These cost, let me check for you guys. These are going for $285, okay? So, as I said before, the price does go up with her brand. Um, your girl don't play. These are $285, so if you like them, the link will be in the bio. Okay, guys, so the last shoe up is called the Whitney. Now, it comes in two styles. Um, I'm going to insert um, both styles in a picture um this is the whitney one of the styles i personally did not like this style so i was like it's a no for me dog because i just didn't like the toe loop but um they had one without the toe loop which is the one that i got the one with the toe loop i believe is more expensive i think that one is 320 the one without the toe loop was 350 Teen. Yes, I told you her shoes are going up, not down, but as she should because she makes good quality. All right. Okay, guys. So these are the Whitney shoes. These are the Whitney. So the way it goes is it has a strap here. It comes up, strap here, and then the ankle. I'm going to insert the picture again so you guys can see. The ankle goes around with these crystals. Come on. So it, ugh, it's giving me a hard time, but it's supposed to look like this. As you can see from the picture, cause clearly I can't hold it up properly, but these, I love how big the crystals are. Of course, zirconia crystals, leather insole. Um, you have cow leather, patent leather, it's fire. This shoe is fire. This is, this is the bad delegation shoe. Like. I, I was not not copying these. These actually dropped earlier this year. These dropped on 1.6, which is probably my last purchase for the entire year when it comes to shoes. I know, I know, I'm saying that now, but when y'all watch my next video, y'all gonna understand why I'm saying that. But um, I'm obsessed with these. The Whitney's, I'm obsessed with these. These I got in a 42 as well. I think I should have got a 41 because, again, the front is a little bit too loose for me, but I... I love the way it fits my foot. Like the front is a little bit loose, but it fits my foot perfectly. So you can't have it all, especially when you have skinny feet and you're tall. So mm, does not help. But these, I'm popping out with these. I can't wait to wear these. Oh my God, I have the fit in my head and it's actually really sick. I have a problem. Like I really need to stop shopping because I have the, 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 I, I'm so weird. Like, I have the outfits in my head before I even get the shoes sometimes. Like, I'm like, yep, that's what I'm wearing with it. Why am I like this? I don't know. But anyway, um, 
these as i said before were 315 one thing i like about her shoes if she gives you a stiletto as you can see guys from here she has like this stretch band so even if you have like a kind of um thicker foot at the top she makes it that you have enough stretch room if your foot is not skinny which i really really do like um again all of the shoes that i have are pretty comfortable when i tried them on i have not worn any of them yet but they're not really you know like tall or anything so i feel like that's not an issue the heel height on these are also 100 mm so yeah which is really really dope Guys, I hope you really enjoyed that haul. I just really want to give you guys some luxury shoes that just, you know, fit with your needs. Um, If you wanted a designer shoe that wasn't your regular Prada, Gucci, Emla Pucci, like, you know, Givenchy. Like, if you didn't want something that was just basic and you want to branch out, I had to share this um with you guys. I didn't want to hide anything from you guys. Um... Like I said before, if you see anything that you really like, um, just drop your comments below and I can answer as much questions as I possibly can. Disclaimer again, guys, like I said, I was not trying on any of these shoes. I have not done my toes. So, and the video needed to come out. So your girl had to film. Um, but I want you guys to see what the shoes look like. Um, again, I will drop the Instagram and the website below so you can see what it looks like on a person's foot. So you can determine whether this is something that you want to invest in or not. Um, going forward, I just want to get more sexy, more elegant shoes in a sense where I can kind of wear more. Um, I see myself wearing all of these shoes for long periods of time um, and they're good quality. I decided I don't want to buy any more cheap shoes. I definitely want to buy only expensive, luxury expensive or even designer expensive because they last longer, okay? And I feel like if I'm gonna dish out 20, 20, 20, 30, 40, 40, 40, 50, 50, 50 dollars on shoes, I might as well just get a good pair of shoe that's gonna sustain me for a long period of time. You, you, you catch what I'm saying? I know y'all do, cause y'all are smart. But Again, guys, please make sure that you like this video if you like it. And drop your comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in to yet another video. And I will see you guys next week. Girl, you know you